Closing sides of the constitutional debate, the Chief Executive of Scotland and Union, Pamela Nash, and the SNP activist, Emma Hendry. Thank you both for joining us. Uh, Pamela, a stark response from the Prime Minister. You'll be happy with that. Yeah, I mean, I, I support his, his response to the First Minister because it's in line with the response that the majority of the people of Scotland really want. Um, poll after poll has shown that people do not want another divisive referendum and certainly not in Nicola Sturgeon's timetable of this year and before the Scottish Parliament election. So Emma, what's your reaction to that? Well, I think it's pretty clear that Boris Johnson's position is unsustainable. Um, it reminds me of the from the 90s and the first Constitutional Convention, Canon Wright said, what if that voice, that other voice we all know so well says no and we say we are, it, and we are the state and we say no? Well, we are the people and we say yes. Um, it's completely unsustainable. Tory governments before have tried to stop Scotland, uh, Scottish people having their say on their constitutional future and they haven't succeeded and they won't succeed this time. So it doesn't matter SNP, if it's... What can the SNP actually do, though? That, that, that was what uh, Colin was pressing Michael Russell on there. What can the SNP actually do? Well, I, I'm not in the, the Scottish government, but I would presume that there would be other avenues, as he, Mike Russell said, that they're going to prepare and continue down the route of looking into um, continuing the legislation and things like that. But there's other ways that we can get this referendum, but the key thing is that Boris Johnson's position isn't, is unsustainable. It's for him to move. It's not for the Scottish Government to move. Their position is clear and they have a mandate to deliver for the people of Scotland. But, but there are other ways of getting a referendum you were suggesting. What, what would you be thinking of? What... So I, I would presume the first um, method would be, able to be through looking through some kind of legal challenge and looking at that and seeing if um, there's a way around that. And I'm presuming that the Scottish Government is probably looking into that, but of course I don't know. Um, Pamela, what would be a mandate as far as you're concerned? I mean, the, the, the SNP have got the majority of MPs in Scotland. Um, they, we will see what next year's parliamentary, uh, Scottish Parliament uh, elections bring. Uh, what would you recognise as a mandate? But, but just to be clear, obviously the SNP had a successful general election in December. No one can take that <coughs> away from them. But they did it on 45% of the vote. And 45% of the vote wins your seats. Of the vote that delivered 80% of seats. Yes, but it wins your seats, which is exactly what I just said, and I acknowledge that. But it doesn't win your referendum, um, as as the Yes campaign will remember in 2014. But not all these and votes. The, the, the SNP is, is not just the Yes campaign. No, it's not. But the majority of people in Scotland, as recently as December, voted for parties that want Scotland to remain in the UK and who do not support well, there being well, another independence referendum at this time. The fact is, Scotland deserves better than this. There's problems that Scotland is facing now in our public services, schools and hospitals. There's a new disaster on the news every night. But, and the fact is that okay, the Scottish but, Government at the moment is still obsessed with an independence referendum that okay, people but that, don't that, want. That's an argument against. Well, my point is... What is there anything that would in, uh, amount to mandate for uh, a second independence no, referendum as far as you're concerned? The Pol referendum polls in moved or more than 50% voted? The referendum was held in 2014 on the basis that it was once in a generation. That was on the basis that people voted and they did that. Yeah. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you might not accept that the 2019 general election is a mandate, but we could look back and look at the 2019 EU election mandate. We could look at the mandate in the 2017 general election and the 2016 pro ending majority that was turned to the Scottish Parliament. That isn't a matter of democracy. In fact, the leader of Scottish Labour today has in fact said that um, it's for the people of Scotland to make decisions about Scotland, not on the banks of the Thames. It's a matter for Scotland and it's a matter of democracy. And if we don't have that decision and if you can't implement a mandate in one and on four elections, then that isn't a democracy but anymore. The people, the people of Scotland do have a right to choose and they, and they chose to remain within the United Kingdom. The fact is for decades since, since the SNP started, they have used, uh, it doesn't matter what the political issue is of the day, their answer to that has been independence. Of course it is, that's the SNP's reason for being. But the fact is you can't have regular referendums to break up our country because it make, makes us, in, we stagnate, we're going to be in limbo. And it means that the matters of the day, that actually people people who want change actually want answers to the issues of but the day. Has been but independence will not yeah. provide those answers. There has answers. been fundamental change though with Brexit if, if we, uh, when we leave the European Union. Yeah, but, but the problems that but we... we will but this union forever now. Is there any way that we can... I haven't interrupted you, so okay, don't okay, interrupt okay, me. Okay, right. So like, the challenges that we'll face with Brexit and undoubtedly there will be challenges. I don't know any of them that will be fixed by breaking up the UK. Like, uh, what, the last thing we need is another layer of constitutional chaos on top of what we're already facing. Would it be possible, uh, Emma, that uh, do you think that what an SNP tactic potentially might be to emphasise, if this is the SNP's view, uh, emphasise that democratic mandate to force an early Holyrood election? Is that something that you would approve of? I mean, 